G'day and welcome to another big edition of the BFNL Netball Show. And uh, thanks to our great friends at Athletic Club Brewery for bringing the, uh, the 2017 final series. We're talking netball. I'm joined, my name's Andy. I'm joined by Kim Bailey. And uh, preliminary finals this week, Kim, but the semi finals, all right. That, that had he people turning their heads going, What's going on? Yeah, Whew, somebody's <laughs> first loss for the year. So British first loss. And you know what? I think we discussed last week, wouldn't be surprised because we were talking about North peaking and, and coming together at, at the right time. And they did. One goal victory. It mm. apparently was an amazing game. Um, if you just look at some of the stats, some were, gonna, were two goals in front. And I think it, they jumped them by the four goals in the first quarter. And, and um, from what I'm hearing, people were saying, yeah, it's over. But then um, North just went, no, it's not. <laughs> and they had a, a 19 goal to eight. That's right, 19 mm. goal to eight second quarter. Most probably the quarter that won the game for them because from them um, they lost the second half. So that big lead that they, um, somebody just couldn't chase it down that they built. Um, I think somebody most probably by the sounds of it went into a little bit of panic mode. Yep. Which happens in finals. Um, yeah, well, they've, never, they've really haven't been behind this much, you know, mm. and they did go into panic mode a little bit. Um, uh, Chloe Curran still, look at that, that's amazing. So, again, Ruthie Spiss needs, it's interesting. Last week, Ruthie really stepped up and shot just, a, you know, pretty pretty well and shot a lot of goals. This week, she shot five from ten. Mm. Big stat there and put the pressure on um, on Chloe Curran, who shot 49 from 53 at 93%. So Remarkable. Yeah, that's amazing. But... Um, most probably not enough output there from Ruth. Uh, and But look at the young kids from North. Uh, Maddie Salmon, 35 from 40 at 88%, and Sir, uh, Sasha McDonald, 20 from 21 at 96%. Mm. Most probably what the difference in the game was in the end where, you know, that 5 from 10 from Ruth and then these girls shooting in the 80s. Um, That's 5% difference made a huge uh, It does, uh, it makes a difference. Result. Yeah, mm. yeah, it can. But as I said, I think they, by the sounds of it, somebody did get a little bit rattled and then they had to go into that chase mode. Um but as, they've just got such a... These teams are really evenly matched, most probably more than anybody else. And North have just got the kids ready to rock and roll and uh, really well done by Annie and the girls. It was a victory well-deserved. I, I think from what I've heard again that Sunbury set up uh, a box four um, in defence. They set up the, the box and... But the problem was with a box, like an elastic band, when one moves, the other move, and they weren't moving, and that just allowed um, Maddie Salmon to split the middle up, um, which is how you, you set up, a, um, how you beat the a space zone is just drive up through the middle, and she did, and seemed to get that outlet pass through that middle all the time. So interesting. Um, I don't think Alma will let that happen again. Yeah. Um, but you know what? I've got a feeling North might have poked the bear. Yep. I'd be very, very concerned uh, if you are Redan because Redan has taken down East Point in the first semi final. They will now play Sunbury Lions this weekend. But I think Redan, they just, they, they, the second best team in the competition in the home and away season. Yeah. They've, they've, uh, they've been the only team to be able to run with Sunbury up until this past weekend. Oh, North ran with them though. North did have, I watched a game during the season. North only lost in the last four minutes um, of that game. But yeah, Redan's one. I think they drew with them, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, they drew with them and I think it was a three or four goal. So, you know, I think the season's been so close um, that Sunbury were obviously the standouts. But um, you could throw a virtually, uh, you know, I think over East, throw a blanket over East, Redan and North. Yeah. Um, it's just who's standing up at the right time, and it's North at the minute, and it's Redan. And Liv Jorgensen had a really good game, 91%. From what I'm hearing, she was amazing. Um, Emma Inverity, again, she's such an experienced, beautiful player. And I heard Erin Riley just had an absolute cracker as well for defence. Um, Emma Farrell, 20 from – you know, look at all their goals. They are a little bit down, weren't they? Um Emma from 20 from 31. Now, Loz Jew um, didn't have her best game. I think uh, she, I think she, that back injury might have come mm. back, and she was a little bit distressed. She struggled a bit this year, hasn't yeah. she? Yeah. Oh, no, in, in patches with, with that with injury. The injury. Yeah, with injury, yeah. It has given her a little bit of curry, I must admit. Um, but, you know, I, I think it got the better of her, and I did get her a little bit upset. But Kate Martin has had a great season and, and still had that uh, ball channel out there. She got the ball into the channel and down to them. But it was just, um, again, most probably... They were even at night at uh, the first quarter and then went into five goals up. So, And it would really never look back from there and they end up winning by um, 13 goals. You know, East would be disappointed. Premiers last year in that amazing game. We would have loved to see see uh, them do that again. But, yeah, a totally different team. But well done. And, uh, yeah, so now we've got 
Redan, Lions taking on Lions again, Chris. Yep, exactly. We saw that in the qualifying final. These two teams have faced off just or twice this year. Redan uh, going down to Sunbury Lions uh, by three goals, and they've always had that draw. And then on the uh, in the qualifying final, Sunbury Lions got the job done by seven goals. Uh, this sets up a magnificent stage between the two sides. Do Redan have the firepower to come back, or would Sunbury Lions be bouncing back? As I said, I think it might have poked the bear with mm. Sunbury. You know, so and when that happens, that can that can be a, a dramatic result the other way. The, like some reliance based on that, they can come out and win by 10, 15 goals. Oh, yeah, that's what I mean. They yeah. poked the bear. They <laughs> poked the bear. I think they won't let that happen again, and they're gonna might be the bit of a. You know, sometimes you just cruise through when you're winning every single game, don't you? And it, you know, I sort of thought this may happen. I didn't think they, I didn't think they'd lose, um, but I, I thought it'd be close. But Redan has. Uh, a bloody good team too. Yeah, you know, they when do. When you look at it, and I'm really interesting to see um, Aaron Riley uh, match up on Chloe Curran. Um, they're both female players, so Aaron's got really good um, feet movement. She gets around the ball, uh, around the body, really quick. But Chloe is such a great holder of the space as well. Um, um, and Emma Inverity on um, Ruthie Smith. So, uh, Ruth nearly needs, needs to step up this week, let's face it. Um, yeah, she had such a great game, and we know what a good player she is, and I just uh, most probably need her. Look, I don't know what her court work was like, court work was like, but I think five goals is just not enough. She probably needs to be around the 20-plus uh, the margin just yeah, to yeah. work like The week before, I think she might have shot 18. I can't remember off the top of my head. Yeah, but, but that's uh, a good thing yeah, for a goal yeah. take. But um, the mid-court battle will be interesting. Tara Munro on Sage Bros. I think that'll be really interesting, and um, Sage has had a fantastic season, and um, Ruby Parry will uh, take on Ash Hardy, which will be a good battle. Um, again, Ash has had an. Uh, both of these players have had a really good season, and it'll be one of the highlights of the day. But as I said, you know, if, uh, I think Kate's done a great job at Redan. She's picked them up and um, got them into finals, got into grand final contention, and, and Adam, you know, I think that it goes without saying to to get a team through the season undefeated. But you just got, it's great to get them to undefeated. You just got to yeah. do the work in finals and get them. But um, yeah, as I said, I think they've poked the bear. Yeah, uh, summary lines to win this one, and if we if, if that being the case, the uh, the matchup we'll have for the grand Ooh. final will be as good as what we've seen uh, yeah. last year. Although that will take some beating. But... Yeah. Oh, look, that was a sensational game. I know I keep banging on about it, but this will be just as good as game of the next two weeks. I'm really excited to see what happens. Kim, thanks so much for joining us on the show. Next time we uh, we meet, we'll be uh, we'll be talking up the big grand final, no doubt. Lots of excitement to come with that. Yeah.